guys, Evangelist Rob here, or Rob Woods Ministries. I want to share with you. I want to prophesy. I want to decree and declare the delivering power of the Lord. You know, the Lord many times allowed the disciples, allowed Apostle Paul to be in situations. Paul and Silas, the midnight hour, were delivered, <clears throat> where the deliverance, when it took place, it furthered the gospel. Because it was a testimony of the strength of what the Lord could do for Paul. And Paul realized this. Paul realized when he was in warfare, or he was surrounded by the enemy. Even in the natural, Paul was surrounded many times. But the Lord delivered him out of them all. And I want to pray, prophesy to you like Paul of old. Hallelujah. The Lord's going to deliver you out of them all. He's going to deliver you out of the mouth of the lion. I want to pray that in three, four minutes max. Before I continue, it'd be an honor if you subscribe to the channel. Thank you in advance. Check out any of the videos on the channel. They're obviously all free of charge. Maybe it'll help you grow in your walk with Jesus in Christ. Friends, Second Timothy chapter 2, but you have carefully followed my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, love, and persecution, perseverance, persecutions, afflictions, would ha which happened to me at Antioch, what persecutions I endured, now listen to this, and out of them all the Lord delivered me. I want to let that sink in, hallelujah. What persecutions I endured, Paul's Paul said. And out of them all, the Lord delivered me. Out of them all, the Lord's going to deliver you. You may feel like Daniel in a den with lions. But in the morning, the king woke up and says, oh, my God, I don't think this is going to turn out good, but we'll give it a shot. Hey, Daniel. And he's not even want to look. He's covering his eyes because he knows, he, he senses Daniel's going to be shredded. They were probably hungry lions. Can we... Can we admit that? They didn't put him in a den of lions that were already ate. They didn't eat, friends. They were going to eat Daniel. The king says, da Daniel says, yeah, I'm okay up here. Come get me out. I don't know if he's petting the lions at that point, but I'm going to be honest. <laughs> an incredible excerpt in the Bible. Now, I just did a show on persecution, which I feel could potentially come to this nation. In America, really hasn't experienced much persecution. Yes, all in all, who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. Now, let me read this to you. This is, I guess, at the end of Paul's ministry. He's admonishing his spiritual son, young Timothy. Second Timothy chapter 4. Paul says, Demas has forsaken me, having loved this present world. Alexander the coppersmith did me much harm. Hey, listen to me. If anyone tells you that being a Christian is easy, they are tripping out. <laughs> now listen, being a Christian is not, e it's, it's not easy, but it's worth it. It is worth it. And it's going to be worth it when judgment day comes and you're standing before God Almighty takes out the book of life. Your name's in that book. Harabashin, he says, come on in, enter in faithful servant of the Lord. Alexander the coppersmith did me much harm. Now listen to this. At my defense, no one stood with me, but they all forsook them. May it not be charged against them, Paul said. What an attitude. Like Stephen said, Lord, as he was getting stoned, he said the same thing as Paul was watching it's holding his clothes. Stephen's family might have been there crying. My God, Stephen's getting stoned. Dad, my husband, and Paul's watching. They said that could have led to the conversion of Apostle Paul, where his heart was so gripped, where Stephen said his face shone like an angel, like Jesus. Father, forgive them. They know not what they're doing. It says, but the Lord strengthened me. And stood with me. Listen to this, Second Timothy four seventeen. But the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, and I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. Father, I'm praying the delivering power out of the mouth of the lion, 
out of perplexities, trials, persecution. Come out in Jesus' name. Be delivered. Be free. Warfare. Strength. Come to you. The Lord strengthening you. In the midst of the battle, saith God, if you've been fatigued and tired, you feel like giving up, you've got no strength. The Lord says, I am strengthening you. Isaiah 40, those that mount up with wings like eagles shall walk and not faint. They shall run and not be weary. They shall run and be not, they shall be strengthened, saith God. Strength is coming to you in the midst of the battle. The Lord says, I'm going to deliver you, but before that, I'm strengthening you, and it's going to be a testimony to many at large, saith the Lord thy God. Hallelujah, guys. Praise the Lord. Let's press in together. Hey, subscribe to the channel. Tell everybody about it. Come on. I want to build a cyber army here on YouTube. I want to get tens of millions of people to come on and be trained in the whole counsel of God, the whole the, whole, the totality that encompasses the Bible, not part of it, this part of that part, the whole counsel of God. Hey, the Lord bless you guys. Amen.